Good afternoon and welcome to Advice Media's latest webinar. Today, we're gonna to take a closer look at improving your social media presence with our new and improved product, Social Power. My name's Rachel Lemieux and I'm the marketing manager for Advice Media's corporate marketing team. I'll be moderating today's session. Some housekeeping tips before we just jump in. Um, we'll wait and answer all questions at the end. Feel free to submit questions though in the Q&A or chat section. I'm gonna keep a close eye on that and we're gonna to get to probably all of them um, based on the time here today. Um, today's session is being recorded uh, and we'll send that out to you tomorrow. Um, and for this webinar, we do have a special offer for everyone that attends. Um, so stick around until the end to hear that, but that's exciting and something new we're doing. Um, our product manager for Social Power is Jill Messenger and she'll be presenting today. Jill has worked in the marketing industry for almost 10 years, starting with internships before graduating from the University of Arizona and now through her professional career with Advice Media. Before entering the world of digital marketing, she started her career as a communications coordinator for several nonprofit organizations where she was first introduced to social media. This is where she saw firsthand how social media plays a significant role in connecting businesses to prospective clients. Jill has been with Advice Media since the acquisition of her original employer, Page One Solutions, where she worked for three years. She has played a significant role in assisting with the social power transition into Advice Media's Performance Center and the social product power product you will learn about today. And now I will turn it over to Jill. Great, thanks, Rachel. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. All right. Well, hi everyone. Thanks so much for taking time out of your Tuesday to join me for today's webinar on social power. Our team is really excited to share the upcoming changes to social power and how this transition is going to positively impact our clients. I wanna start off by giving an overview of our product and how it benefits our clients. What is social power? What services does it include? And how does it impact our clients? I like to break down the advantages of social power into three main buckets, affordability, consistency, and credibility. For $250 a month, we provide a social media management tool that provides our clients with a consistent presence, expanded reach, and increased brand awareness on Facebook and Instagram. Essentially, social power's job is to do all the heavy lifting, including creating industry-specific captions, finding relevant stock photos, and publishing the content at optimal times. Additionally, the clients have opportunity to review their monthly posts ahead of time and make edits in order to customize the content to their specific practice. When it comes to social media success, consistency is really key. Each time a client publishes a new post on their social page is another opportunity to reach their audience and a potential new patient. Posting each day can help maximize organic reach overall. By publishing regular content to Facebook and Instagram, our clients' profiles appear professional, updated, and credible. Speaking of credibility, users are turning to social media more and more to learn if a business is trustworthy. Especially during the pandemic in the past year, social media has been a great place for consumers to learn if a practice is still open, their updated hours, if they have any COVID-related guidelines, et cetera, et cetera. I personally rely on Facebook and Instagram business profiles now more than ever. It can be tricky to know if the information on Google is up to date or if the hours posted on the website are accurate. Essentially, when a user visits a Facebook or Instagram business page that is consistently updated, they are automatically going to associate that practice with being more credible than a profile that has old, outdated content or is not published to at all. So how it works. Clients receive Facebook and or Instagram posts on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday each week. We also provide posts that highlight monthly holidays in addition to their industry-specific posts. Clients receive an additional post on Tuesdays that is custom to their practice, which we call Practice Plus. These posts started as just a caption that was pulled straight from the website along with a link back to the relevant web page. These Tuesday posts have evolved to become even more customized. The new Tuesday posts still include a caption from the website and a link back to the relevant web page, but we also create a branded image to accompany the post. This graphic matches the client's branding on their website, includes their logo, and highlights popular practice areas, patient testimonials, 
the doctors and staff, and the office. For now, we've only created these updated posts for our largest industries, but our goal is to eventually roll these out to all clients within the next year. These posts have been proven to be especially effective and produce a great amount of engagement on client social profiles. I'll show an example of one in the next slide. Historically, clients have been sent a monthly email with a link to preview all the posts for the next month. Here, they're able to make edits to the captions of the posts, add hashtags, decline a post, or select alternate posts to replace those that they've declined. It's important to note that social power is not an end-all, be-all solution to social media marketing. It's really intended to be a supplementary product. We find that clients are the most successful when they supplement our posts with their own in-office content, respond to comments and messages, take advantage of Facebook and Instagram's business tools, like boosting posts and optimizing their profiles. So here are a few examples of clients who do exceptionally well with our social power products. This first client, dentistry client, diligently edits their monthly posts, their, excuse me, their monthly library to personalize their posts. They add in their own contact information and even personalize hashtags to make their social power posts more custom to their practice, which you can see in turn helps boost their likes and comments on each post. The second post here is an example of one of those updated Tuesday posts I was referring to in my last slide. In this instance, we highlighted the doctor, included a little bit of information from the About Us page, and the post received nearly 90 likes and 13 comments. This type of engagement and reach is really great exposure for clients' practice. This third client is a med spa client who also does a great job of editing the monthly social library. They add in their contact information, um, the doctor's names, personalized hashtags. They even add in information about specials that are relevant to the highlighted practice areas, which I think is really great. The clients featured on this slide do an exceptional job of supp supplementing our social power posts with their own content. By showcasing behind the scenes and in-office pictures and videos, they've done a great job of increasing their engagement and reach. In turn, this helps our social power posts perform even better as well. So despite all the wonderful benefits that Social Power currently provides clients, we think it's time for an upgrade to this product. Our development team has been working hard over the past few years to integrate the Social Power product into Advice Media's Performance Center. This transition is huge for our clients and for Advice Media. We are moving away from a product that relies on manual copying and pasting to a fully automated, populated scheduling tool that gives our clients more control over their product than ever before. Some of the big benefits, some of the big benefits of social power in the performance center include the ability for clients to access, preview, and make edits to their social media calendars up to eight weeks in advance. This is a huge change from clients having to preview them month to month. Clients can publish their own social media content directly in the performance center similar to publishing tools like Sprout Social or Hootsuite. This is a major complimentary upgrade to our clients that we provide at no additional cost. The Performance Center provides direct access to social media reporting and insights. All insights are updated daily and are available to access at any time directly in the Performance Center. The Performance Center also provides access to industry-specific content libraries. If a client declines a post that's scheduled on their library, they'll have an entire library of posts specific to their industry to choose from. I like to think of the Performance Center as a scheduling tool like Hootsuite that comes pre-populated with industry-specific posts that could be scheduled at any time, which is really amazing and unlike anything else available today. Overall, moving social power into the Performance Center increases client control over their product and eliminates a lot of common frustrations and most human error. So without further ado, I'm gonna do a full run through of how to access the Performance Center as if I were a client. So bear with me here. All right, so this is the login screen for the Performance Center. Once I log in, it takes me right here to my dashboard 
just a really great snapshot of all of my advice media products. So I can see a snapshot of my social power insights right here. If I navigate over to the social power sidebar, this is where I'm gonna be able to access all my social power calendars and insights. So to preview my calendar, I'm going to click on publishing. And this is where I can preview all the posts that are scheduled for my profiles. I can preview this in a weekly format. I can also change it to a monthly calendar format to get a better snapshot of everything that's scheduled for the month. So to go back and go back to my weekly calendar format to start previewing my posts. To preview a post, I click on it. This is where I can see the caption, the image that's associated with the post, what time it's scheduled, the date it's scheduled. This is when I, if I wanna make an edit to a post, I can do it directly in here. So if I wanna add my own hashtags, can add my phone number. I can even add in emojis. All the edits are made directly on this screen and are automatically updated. If I wanna change out the image, I can even do that as well. I click add image. I can pull one in directly from my computer. This is where I can choose which profiles I want this to be published to. If I only want this to be published to Facebook, I can remove Instagram. But of course, I can go back and add an Instagram at any time. And I click Save. It automatically updates this post on the calendar. Super easy. I'm going through and I find a post that I maybe this is a treatment or practice area that I don't provide and I wanna delete it. Just go down to these three dots and select delete post. Here I have three options. Uh, delete this post from the calendar, but keep it in the library. This option removes the post from the calendar, but keeps it available in the post library in case we wanted to schedule or use it again. Never schedule this post, but keep it in the library. This option ensures the posts never get scheduled on a client's calendar, but it keeps it available in the post library if they would like to schedule it themselves in the future or remove this post from the calendar and the library. So that's the most definitive option where it will completely remove the post from both, both the calendar and the library. In this is instance, I'm gonna keep it in the library for future use, but I'm just gonna remove it from the calendar. Click delete and it's no longer there. So now since I don't have a post scheduled on Wednesday, I wanna go in and replace it with a post from the post library. Doing this, I would navigate over to the post library. This is where I'll find an entire library of industry specific content just for me. I can go down and load more when I find one that I like. So I'll do this one. I'm gonna edit it, add in my own hashtags. I'll add an emoji and I'm gonna add in my phone number too. All right, I'm gonna change this to the day where I deleted the other post, which was the 12th. I'll change the time and say, do 2 p.m. I can choose which profiles I want it to be posted to. I'm gonna post this one to Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and schedule. And I go back to my publishing calendar. I can see here's my post ready to be published. 
super easy. Like I mentioned before, clients now have the ability to publish their own content directly in the Performance Center. They can do that by coming up here to this plus button, click on new post. This is where I'll create the caption. I can add an image from my computer. So here's a custom image that I created to promote my special. I can choose to publish this immediately, save it as a draft if I wanna revisit it later on, or I can schedule it for a time. I'm gonna schedule this for May 3rd, let's do 9.30 a.m. If I go back to my calendar, I can see there it is ready to be published. Super easy. To access my reporting, I come back to the social power sidebar and click on dashboard. I'm using a test Facebook and Instagram profile, which does not have great insights, but of course all of our client social media profiles will be much more impressive. Um, but typically this is where you would see total followers, followers trend, I can see the number of posts per day, impressions by day, and engagements as well. And this is available at any time and updated on a daily basis. To change the time range, I can completely customize that. I can do it over the past month, past few days, past years. It's very customizable. I can also change which profiles I want to analyze. A few other housekeeping items in the Performance Center that might be helpful. Under account, if you click on users, this is a list of all the people that can access the Performance Center in your organization. If you had a new employee come on board and you wanted to grant them access to preview the library or schedule content, you would easily do that by creating a user, adding in their contact information, assigning their role and sending them an invitation so they could access the Performance Center. Under connections, this is where you can see all the profiles that are connected to your Performance Center account. If for instance, you didn't have an Instagram connected and you wanted to begin posting on Instagram, you could easily add that by creating a connection, choosing which profile, here is where you would log in and authorize the Facebook account that you're connected to and that has admin access to the page. That would pull in the Instagram so you could begin publishing on it. Okay. Well, before we open it up to questions, I want to let you know that we've created resources to help address any common questions that you might have or issues you might come across. We've created an in-depth walkthrough video of how to access social power in the Performance Center. It's available on Advice Media's YouTube channel. There's also a help center located in the Performance Center that clients can access at any time that has a ton of help articles. Actually, in fact, I'll go ahead and show you where that is just so you can access it. If you're in the Performance Center, it's down here in the bottom right-hand corner. There are a ton of articles in here, both for social power and review power and how to access the Performance Center in general. And as Rachel mentioned, we will send out a recording of this webinar later this week. So keep an eye out for that in your inbox too. As we mentioned, there's a special offer for attendees of today's webinar for all new social power clients. You will receive 15% off social power. And with that, we can go ahead and open it up to questions. Wonderful. Thank you, Jill, so much. That was super informative and just a great overview. Um, and we're just excited, for, so excited for this new product to launch. Um, and we do have some questions that have come in. So um, are Instagram stories slash reels slash IGTV supported with social power? 
No, not at this moment. Um, Instagram posts are of course supported, um, but not stories or reels at this time. Um, can I, how can I choose a photo from an iStock photo library? So we don't have a iStock photo library available to all of our clients at the moment. Um, however, there are a lot of free iStock libraries available out there. I know that Pexels is one of them. Um, you can find free stock photos that way. You can also use resources like Canva. They have a library of images that you can select from and customize to make your own. Um, once you create your own posts or your own images, you would be able to upload those into the performance center. Great, thank you. Um, and a few more, um, sorry, here we go. Um, can you tell me more about the content library? Sure, so the content or the post library, I think is an amazing resource for clients in the performance center. The library is filled with industry specific content, fun engagement graphics, holiday posts, that clients can schedule and publish at any time. I think it's especially great for clients who are too busy to curate their own social media content. You really do all the heavy lifting. Those posts are sitting in that library ready to be used. And of course they can be edited or customized. So they're even more specific for the practice. Perfect. Um, okay, another question. Once something's taken from the post library, is it removed so that either advice media or the client can post it twice? Um, it does stay in the library. Um, however, due to the randomization on the back end, um, it wouldn't be reused for quite some time. So it wouldn't be available to use in the future unless you were to delete it altogether. Um, and is it possible to copy our post to our stories? Yes, definitely. So you would do that through either the Facebook or the Instagram mobile app. You could share your post to your story. Um, that's not available to do in the performance center. You would need to do that through the mobile app. Um, will we continue to receive libraries on the 15th of the month. Yes, for the time being, we will continue to send out those reminders um, with a link that directs the clients directly to their publishing calendars in the Performance Center. Um, over time, once we feel that clients are comfortable logging into the Performance Center and previewing posts on their own, um, we will likely no longer need that monthly reminder, but for the time being, we'll continue to send it. And is there a limit to how many posts I can schedule? No. So we actually encourage clients to take advantage of the performance center and schedule their own content and content from our post library as frequently as they like. Like I mentioned earlier, I think consistency is really key when it comes to social media success. And I think in this case, the more the merrier. I found that the same for advice media uh, social, which our team manages the same thing, more the merrier. Um, how many times a week is ideal to publish to my profile and what types of posts should I publish? That's a good question. Um, we recommend publishing your own content about three to four times per week to supplement our own social, our social power posts. So we found that clients who perform well on social media publish a variety of special offers, client testimonials, um, staff photos, fun things that the staff are doing on the weekends, just anything that gives the office a little bit more personality. Um, I think the best way to figure out what type of content, what type of content resonates with your audience is just to test it out and observe the engagement um, on the posts and kind of go from there. Perfect. That is, that are, those are all of the questions, English. Um, and so um, if there are no more questions, we are gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Um, again, thank you everyone so much for attending. Again, just as a reminder, we have the 15% off for any new social power clients. Um, and that is a really great deal. So you're definitely gonna wanna jump on that. Um, feel free to, uh, if you're not, if you're a current client, but you don't have social power, please reach out to your account team. Um, if you're a totally new, you would be a totally new client um, to Advice Media, then please um, give us a call. Um, our number here is 435-575-7470. Thank you all so much for coming and taking the time today. And we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Thanks.